Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sky Lounge here to discuss some Vegas Golden Knights. No, they're not playing a game today. They are actually on a fucking bye week. And nice time too. It's nice and rainy outside in Vegas. Great time. Uh, so here's the thing. Halfway through the season at this point, 41 games played. The Vegas, Go Vegas Golden Knights are sitting at, what, 29 wins, uh, 60 points in total. Uh, you also got... Uh, First in the Pacific, first in the Western Conference, exceeding every possible expectations um, on, based on any franchise, really. As an expansion franchise, best expansion franchise ever. Ever. Unless Seattle does something crazy. Who the fuck knows? But definitely at this point, they are the best expansion team. They are arguably one of the best teams in the NHL right now. Um, the way they're playing hockey, they are every power ranking you see on you know, ESPN, TSN, any fan, you know, fantasy shit, whatever the fuck, they're always in the top three. Crazy. It's fucking crazy. Like, you, who would have who thought? Who would have thought? An expansion team made up of third, fourth line guys um, do something like this. It, it, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unheard of. Um, and here's, here's the thing from, you know, we, we could talk about all the objective math and all the, all the numbers they're putting up, you know, like William Carlson, guys posting up 22 goals at this point. Uh, Unreal, James Neal, 18 goals at this point. Uh, Marsha Soda, what, he's at, what, 39, 40 points at this point? I, I don't even know. I don't even know. But listen, the, the thing, the bottom line is this. We could talk about stats, we could talk about numbers and all this shit, but at the end of the day, from a fan's perspective, all right, from a fan's perspective, you have to realize I cheer for a lot of teams, um, you know, for other sports, and a lot of them, uh, a couple of them are mediocre. You know, Arsenal you know, Football Club is a perfect example of mediocrity, but man, from, from day one, this hockey club has been phenomenal. Um, from the top of the organization to the players right now, I think they're just doing a fantastic job. Yes, there was a bit of an issue with the Vadim Shipachev thing in October. I don't know if anybody remembers that shit, but yeah, I was kind of hyped on the guy, so it's weird to see that, my God, this a couple months ago, we were legitimately scared about not having Flurry, not having Vadim Shipachev. What are we going to do to... We are now in potential playoff race. We are now in a potential playoff race, and we have to figure out strengthen strengthen the squad extend trade whatever but i don't see a trade happening not with a lot of these guys on the main you know these these main guys like james neal david perron uh, oscar lindbergh marcia so smith carlson fucking leipzig uh no sick bellamere any of these guys I, I know i'm missing a lot of the defensemen too like garrison schmidt miller uh, Theodore, Merrill, uh, England. I know, it, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. It's just fucking crazy. And again, from a fan's perspective, you couldn't be happier. And it, it, the funny thing is, a lot, a lot of times when I go online and read these forums and shit, everyone always says, oh man, Vegas is, you know, they're just an expansion team. Yeah, try living in the city and tell fucking locals that shit. They're probably gonna shun you out. Us locals love the fact that this team is fucking succeeding. Us locals love this team. Majority of locals, if you ask them, they are nothing but proud of this fucking team. And so, yeah, it, it's it's looking great. Hopefully the second half of the season, you know, everyone buckles up, still does their job. I mean, you see Jared Gallant got a, uh, he got, he, yeah, he got the head coaching um, role for the uh, again, all-star game for the Pacific Division. So congrats on him. All these guys getting contract extensions. I definitely think James Neal is going to get one. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see how the rest of the 41 remaining games go after this, uh, starting with the Islanders on Saturday. But it's an exciting time. It's absolutely an exciting time. Um, if you haven't been to T-Mobile Arena, definitely check it out. It is one of the best arenas, period. Uh, I've been to the Staples Center. I haven't been to other hockey arenas yet, so I can't really say that for sure. But everyone I have at, at you know, hockey veterans I asked, they love it. They love it over there. So let me know what you guys think. You know, what do you think Vegas is going to do? How do you think Vegas is going to end up? Stanley Cup. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. Until next time, fuck off.